And what's going on guys, I'm Nintendo Boy, and welcome back to our yearly tradition on this channel, which is none other than the annual Christmas haul video. Essentially what it is, for if you somehow don't know, it's just basically me showing my haul from this year's Christmas, and I've been doing this ever since 2018, which is kind of impressive to be honest, because I don't know how... <laughs> I've been doing this for like six years. Honestly, it's crazy that I've been doing this for six years because like it's nothing, it's not that crazy of a concept, but I don't know, I think it's just a fun time, you know, it's nothing, it doesn't hurt anybody to just show what I got for Christmas, but I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, here's the 2023 haul. The first item up in this video is Spider-Man. Now this plush in general is kind of a little teaser for something coming up soon in 2024. What is that exactly? Well, maybe I'll tell you guys later, but in general this plush is actually kind of adorable. But that would make sense because he is a Beanie Baby plush and uh, honestly I didn't really know they did these. I thought they did only like bears and stuff, but I mean I guess over time they've just started making licensed characters as toys but i do like the spider-man he's kind of adorable and uh yeah he's uh he's quite a quite a cool thing second item up for this video is baby peach now ironically enough i think one of the only mario plushies that i have yet to actually get is regular peach which is just funny because now i have baby peach but uh, you know what, she's actually quite cool. Back in the day, I do remember someone owning a Baby Peach plush, but I don't even know if it was an official one or not, because I don't know how long ago like they actually made an official one, but this one is official because of the tag. It's, you know, the Sine All-Stars collection. But it's just kind of cool to own it again and know for a fact that it is a real Baby Peach plush and no bootleg or anything. And yeah, it's also good to have her because I am kind of planning on doing something with Mario plushies in the future. If it actually pans out so again maybe at some point you'll hear what that is but overall this baby peach plush is really good and uh yeah third item up is pom pom now she's kind of an obscure mario character and that makes it even more like crazy that this plush can actually be found in a store because apparently it was found in a store i don't know any other store that would be carrying a plush like this but thank you target anyways pom pom is like a character in like mario 3d land in 3d world and she's appeared i believe in super mario party and that's about it. She's been in only like a handful of games and yet she has a plush and apparently Target holds her. She's actually pretty good though, like um, the quality and everything is there. Uh, really no detail is skipped and uh, hopefully in the future we can complete this set by having a Boom Boom plush. Alright, so our next three entries are going to be video games. So uh, we have three to cover and our first one up is... Stray. Now, Stray is an interesting one because this is like a, uh, this was like a breakout indie game, at least, you know, according to the Game Awards, and you know what it kind of is, because I believe it was made by like a smaller development team, um, and yeah, this kind of like came out of nowhere, and I remember like it was first announced in like a PlayStation Direct, well, you know, PlayStation's equivalent to a Nintendo Direct, and I thought it looked cool, I was like, oh wow, you're playing as like a cat and everything, and yeah, then it came out. Obviously, I didn't really get to play it when it came out because I didn't have a PlayStation or anything then and it wasn't on PC and even if it was, I didn't have a good PC at the time either. But now that I have both of those things and now that I own it on PlayStation, I can finally experience this cool game. And uh, yeah, so I haven't played it yet, but you know what? I'm probably going to make time for it in January or something like that. One weird thing though, is that they included these like art cards of all these characters and whatnot, which I think from reading into it, it seemed to be a pre-order bonus. So for some reason they just included it with this purchase, which I guess is a cool incentive, but I mean, I don't really care that much, but you know what? Cool, and we get some art cards. And overall, Stray is a game that I'm excited to play, and uh, I guess for anyone that has played it watching this video, just uh, let me know if it's a good game and if I will enjoy it. Second game on our list, but is our fifth item, is Mario and Rabbids Sparks of Hope. Now the first Mario and Rabbids game I have not played because I also don't own it, but I, I feel like I may as well because I always see it on sale for like $10 or something, so like it's quite a steal. But uh, this game I was interested in because I had heard it actually is pretty good. Um, 
thing is though is that it's usually like you know it's like an strategy rpg kind of thing and i don't really play those but you know what it's a mario game but it also has rabbits so it might be like tailor made for people who don't play them like a casual player so maybe I'll get into it. But yeah, for a discounted price, I think it's good to pick this game up uh, since, you know, you might get into it. And again, I haven't played this one yet either. But uh, again, maybe I'll make time for it and maybe I'll enjoy it. Who knows? But overall, this game looks kind of fun. So hopefully I might get into it. Third and final game on the list, but as our sixth item is Kirby Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Now this game I am quite excited to play because you know I do love me a Kirby game and this Kirby game always eluded me even back on the original Wii release because I think I do remember when it was a new game but for some reason I never saw it like at any store and I was always thinking about you know don't tell the Nintendo ninjas but I always thought about emulating it on Dolphin but because of this deluxe release on the Switch I have no reason to do that and uh, now I can finally play it on a Nintendo console and now it's the deluxe version which adds like quite a lot of content it adds like mini games and it adds a new epilogue campaign and so overall I am really excited to get into Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe this next one is going to be a bit brief but number seven is a speaker now see, the reason I need a speaker is because this new computer I have, well I guess it's not new, but like this computer I have, I've had it since like March. Uh, it's great and everything, but the one thing it doesn't have is, you know, speakers. And so for the longest time, for all those months, I had to use headphones to hear out of the computer. Because otherwise I wouldn't be able to hear anything. And so now I don't always have to use headphones. I think I will from time to time in case I really need to like hear everything like, you know, like really well, but... If it's just for casual use, then yeah, I'm going to just, you know, listen through the speaker. So yeah, this is a good thing to have, so now I don't have to just not hear anything if I'm not using headphones, and, uh, that is really helpful to me. But, here we are. The eighth and final gift to show for this video. It's, it's quite a big one, kind of like last year. Maybe not as big as last year, but final gift for this video is... an iPad. Yes, this is quite a big one because it has been a long time since I've gotten anything like an iPad. In fact, that's actually why I was really hoping for this because like I've had an iPad for many years now and you know because of that it is kind of dead like you know it doesn't really hold a battery and uh, basically after like an hour of use it would almost be worn out. And so I was like, yeah, I need to get an upgrade. Now, the main reason I want to use an iPad isn't to use it, you know, like as a device to watch like videos on or anything like that. It's mainly to draw stuff. Uh, so, you know, here is like the sketchbook app. Oh, and hey, you should uh, do what that says on the screen. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, so I use this app to draw stuff and I sometimes use Photoshop to like do edits on things. I'm just really happy to have this and uh, it will be a big help when I do future drawings. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see what I'll be able to cook up with this thing. <laughs> Well, there you have it, our sixth annual Christmas haul video. Again, it is really crazy that I've already done six of these like year after year. And uh, I don't know, it depends if I will actually keep doing these or not. I guess I'll see if you guys are interested in me doing these every year. I mean, it doesn't really hurt anybody to do it every year. It's not like I'm doing it every day or anything. But yeah, there's the 2023 Christmas haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my stuff that I got. And bye byes